A Strongsville family is hoping generations of young people will be able to fulfill their dreams their son never realized. Last summer, we showed you the community's heartbreak when two young men died when a car slammed into a building. This summer, we were in the courtroom when the teen driving that car was convicted and given 15 years to life in prison for intentionally causing that crash. And tonight, we're following through on this story. News 5's Catherine Ross sat down with the parents of Davion Flanagan and shows us how they're honoring their son's legacy. By all accounts, Davion Flanagan was exceptional. He could pick up any sport and be good at it from the start. So he was mainly focused on football. That was his passion. A natural athlete. And from the time Jamie and Scott Flanagan fostered and adopted young Davion and his sisters, it was his heart that also stood out. He didn't have clicks. He was anyone who wanted his heart and wanted his time. He was going to be there for them. In the early hours of July 31st, 2022, Davion was riding with friend Dominic Russo and Dominic's girlfriend Mackenzie Sharilla when she intentionally crashed the car into a building, killing both young men. I, I literally just sunk to the floor, just sobbing. Um, it's just not, it's every parent's worst nightmare. The effects of Davion and Dominic's deaths rippled through the community. In 2022, News 5 attended a vigil for the young men at the crash site. And a year later, we covered the emotional trial when Sharilla was convicted of murder and sentenced to two concurrent life sentences. The best thing that can come from this is for Mackenzie to have a change of heart, to take responsibility for her actions, right. apologize to us, not for an accident, but for right. murdering her son. The Flanagans tell us the high profile trial on top of losing their son was grueling. Now News 5 is following through as the family pushes through. The only way is through. You can't get stuck, you can't go back, you can't change what happened, but you can move forward and try to do something beautiful in his memory. And that's where the idea of the scholarship fund came from. They're hoping to give other young people the chance to follow the same dreams their son had, creating a scholarship fund at Allstate Hairstyling and Barber College in Ohio City. We're looking for a way that we can kind of take the ashes of this and turn it into something hopeful. So far, they've raised more than $24,000, and they hope this scholarship will be a lasting impact of Davion's exceptional heart. He was so much more than just, you know, the friend in the back seat. Um, you know, his yeah. life was so precious and valuable um, that he's missed and loved and, yeah. you know, that we want to carry on that heart of his, that giving heart. In Strongsville, Catherine Ross, News 5.